Welcome into the lounge, fam. It's your boy Brad Starks here in the Roto Lounge for another episode of my bourbon collection. And today, today, let's start that jazz music. Today we're going with the Evan Williams. Vintage, can't see it too well. I'll have to get a another view of the bottle. This is a vintage Evan Williams 2013 single barrel. What I like about this is on the on the front of the bottle, it has the year that they put it in the oak barrel, and in this case it was 2013. Uh, obviously in 2020 you're going to see 2012s. 2019, you're going to see 2011s, etc., etc. On the back of this bottle, I'll get some shots of the back of the bottle. It tells you when they put it in the oak barrel. And in this case, it was barreled on 1219 of 2013. That's, that's very um, cool because I just realized that's just a few days before my actual birthday. This is barrel number 557. And it was bottled on 5-6 of 2021. So I'm going to pop this for you. Uh, and we're going to talk about Evan Williams Single Barrel Vintage 2013. Now this bad boy comes in at only 43.3 percentage of alcohol to volume 86.6 proof not really how I like my women uh, I like my women and I like my bourbon the same way hot strong and a little kick we'll see how this bourbon shakes up so I'm pulling the cork off here the wax see if you can hear that if you're not if you're just listening to this or watching this is available on YouTube my, my YouTube channel as well as my bourbon collection podcast you can find from Roto Lounge. All right, we're going to pop it. Mm, that was kind of a weak pop. Holy cow, are you kidding? Wow, 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 wow. The scents on that thing. And I haven't even put it in the Glen Cairn. I've had about four or five different scents just from the bottle. It smells really good. Let's give it a pour. Oh. I rinsed out my glass a little bit so I got some water in here. So Evan Williams is distilled at the Heaven Hills Distillery. The same distillery that brings you the JTS Brown, my last episode, Elijah Craig, Henry McKenna, Larceny, all kinds. Heaven Hill does all kinds. But anyways, this is the basic mash bill. I believe it's 78% corn. They're just barreled in different parts of the warehouse, aged for, you know, different years. This one, like I mentioned, was 13 to 21. So this was almost seven and a half years, something like that. About seven and a half years in the barrel for this Heaven Hills Evan Williams Vintage Single Barrel. Now this bad boy, it, they're kind of difficult to get in Ohio. Obviously this is a new a new delivery. They were barreled um, just this year, a few months back, just about two months ago. I found this in Kentucky when I was in Kentucky over the weekend. And, you know, they usually run about $25, um, $26. I think I ended up paying 29 for this one uh, just because I wanted it and I wanted to try it uh, now I think it's kind of cool that it was bottled in December of 2013 we won't talk about how, how old I was back then but um, I think I was probably still enough to drink I'm not sure all right so let's go to the scents on the nose now when I opened the bottle it almost smelled like my kids juice box my little girl's juice box, it was like a tropical, 
like I don't know tropical candy tropical fruit like oh, that's probably why my kids are sleeping so soundly these days they're probably drinking Evan Williams juice box if you take a juice box and I've had a lot of them you take the straw the, 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 they're empty and you kind of squeeze it and you can kind of smell that tropical if you get the tropical flavor that's kind of what that's kind of what I get it's almost like pineapple and not mango but I also get like cinnamon there's so many there's so many scents coming off this thing it's very complex it's almost like I get a little leather a little whoa oh shit a little tobacco I'm not good at spinning my whiskey I'm trying There's so many scents on the nose. I love it, and, and I'm not in. I'm not really in for the 86 proofs, but this is really good on the nose. Just scents all over: tropical fruit, cinnamon, tobacco, leather, small hint of caramel, a little bit of nougat. Mmm. Let's go for a taste. world is this I have that look on my face it's it doesn't even taste it, it it tastes like punch it tastes like it tastes like a tropical punch with spice it's like if you took my kids juice box and you threw it into an Evan Williams bourbon barrel and you let it age for seven and a half years throw in some old leather boots oh and then you have this Evan Williams vintage bourbon this is so good this is really really good it's it's nothing that I even expected from Heaven Hills and it has a little bit of the Elijah Craig nose. I mean, not nose, but um, the same tasting profile of Elijah Craig a little bit. This is a much, much sweeter. Wow, this is totally different. This is totally different. This is like, this would be the perfect summer sipper. It's 86 proof. It, it reminds you of a tropical punch but with some vanilla in it. It's not got a, a burn or a hug at all. I mean, just a tiny bit of spice. A little, I get, I get the oak, oak and leather on the back of the throat. And then lingering pineapple, it's weird, lingering tropical fruits um, maybe some orange it's really really unique uh, and I heard good things about the single barrel I didn't know about the vintage where they have the year that it was put in the oak and then on the back it's written in pen when it was bottled the barrel number and so again, this was barreled on 1219 of 2013, barrel number 557, and bought it on 5621. So if you see any of these vintage and you see barrel 557, barreled on 1219 of 13, it's gonna be this beauty here. And I really, I'm really digging it. I'm really digging it. Evan Williams. Out of the Heaven Hills Distillery, $26. The JTS Brown out of the same distillery, $11.49. I gave that a six. This is just a different type of whiskey. It doesn't really remind me a lot of bourbon whiskey. It's just, I mean, it's got those characteristics, but it's more of a light sipper. 
and it really has those tropical scents. It's really, really remarkable um, what this thing packs in this bottle. Well, that's all I got for you in the lounge tonight. It's your boy, Evan Williams. You're probably wondering who Evan Williams was. Evan Williams was actually considered the very first distiller in Kentucky. Basically built Louisville back in the late 1700s. It's been disputed now. Someone always wants to have the crown. But for the longest time, Evan Williams was known as Kentucky's first bourbon distiller. Heaven Hills makes a bottle uh, in recognition of him. And I will say this is a this is going to be a summer sipper. The weather outside is hot. You need something to sip on when it's hot outside. For all my Florida family and anyone that's in one of those hot weather states with this heat wave coming through, grab yourself some vintage Evan Williams, 25 to 30 bucks. Sit on the porch. Maybe even throw an ice cube in this bad boy. Sit on the porch. Kick your flip flops up. And drink some of this Evan Williams Vintage 2013. Here's to you fam. Till next time. Cheers.